Now this is the main entrance to uh, Pine Mountain Lake. It's the turn off of Ferretti Road, which will take you to the main entrance gate. It's a little fountain, and normally there's a little waterfall running there, but uh, due to the drought, the water has been uh, turned off to conserve it. And now we'll go towards the uh, Pine Mountain Lake gate and take you in through the main entrance. Now I'm driving down the road towards the main entrance. To my left here is our administration building. And then we have a uh, security building here with the looks like a, an old school building. And then this is the uh, main entrance gate that I'm coming up to. If you're a guest, you go through the uh, left-hand side here, stop at the building, and they will allow you to come through. Otherwise, you come through the gate on the normal homeowner side, and we have a card or a gate card clicker, which allows us to open the gate, and indeed all the gates, and enter into Pine Mountain Lake. And this is the uh, entrance gate from the other side as we exit the Pine Mountain Lake. If you're a homeowner, there are multiple gates within the development which will allow you to access your property. However, as a guest, you must come through the main gate and they do register the names. It's just a matter of security. And then across the way, you can see one of the mail kiosks and that's how our mail is delivered up here locally. Well, now I'm standing at the top of uh, Ferret Court. Now, this is one of the better locations to get an overall view of Pine Mountain Lake and its amenities. Right now, we're looking to the west, and that's the golf course that you see off in the distance. And down below us, that first sandy area is the Duncourt Beach Marina. And then, as I pan across, the sandy area on the other side of the lake is the main marina, which is where the snack shop and the rental equipment and the boat launch and all that good stuff is. The lake itself is 200 acres. There's swimming, boating, fishing, water skiing available on it. And then the other swimming area is at Lake Lodge, which is hidden behind that tree there. And Fisherman's Cove is right down below us. And you can see this is all looking to the south out across uh, the Pine Mountain Lake development area. Well, this is the sign that directs you to the uh, Pine Mountain Lake Country Club and the restaurant, which is known as the Grill. And uh, the golf course is located down there along with the uh, swimming pool. Well, now we're approaching the Pine Mountain Lake Grill and the Pine Mountain Lake 18-hole championship uh, golf course. And I'll take you for a quick tour of both. Now, we'll start our tour of the uh, Country Club and the uh, golf course with a shot down the uh, first fairway. And let me walk over here just a little bit and you may get a little better uh, view of the green down there. It sits in behind those uh, oak trees. And it's just coming into view now. Then I'm gonna pan to my left here and uh, you can see the green for the 16th tee. And then you can see uh, the Country Club. And looking off in the distance, that would be Yosemite National Park. And I'll take you into the Country Club and give you a view from inside. Now this is the entrance way to the uh, Country Club and the Grill, which is the restaurant. They have an excellent menu with reasonable prices, good food, and good service. And then down the path this way is the uh, Pro Shop and uh, what they call the 19th hole, which is a bar. I'll go inside real quick and then we'll take a look outside again. Yeah. Well, I'm inside the uh, country club itself. There's a large meeting going on next to me. You may hear the noise in the background. It's quite busy over there. I'm in the section which is reserved for the normal homeowners when they have functions going on. And we'll take you outside onto the deck. Now I'm on the deck, which is normally uh, crowded with people. However, since the temperature is in excess of 100 degrees today, you can see there's no one out here. They're all inside with the uh, air conditioning. However, this does give us a real nice uh, view of the 18th green. And then I'll point down the uh, 10th fairway from the 10th tee. And again, we're looking out towards Yosemite National Park. There's a little bit of view of the bar, 19th hole. As I say, there is a big function going on right now. Well, I'm now standing on the ninth tee at the Pine Mountain Lake uh, 
golf course and I'm going to pan around uh, just to give you an idea of how beautiful it is and some of the views that we get from these tees and these greens. I'm looking down the 8th fairway towards the 8th green. Then I'm panning around and we're going through west to north and you can see that mountains out in the distance and I'll come back around and I'll give you a view down the ninth fairway towards the ninth uh, green. Now this is a shot looking down the uh, sixth fairway from the tee at the Pinemont Lake uh, Golf Course. The golf course is surrounded by uh, home sites on all of the uh, fairways and we do have uh, local law enforcement. That's the uh, building where they gather. That's the Sheriff's Patrol and the Highway Patrol. And that's uh, what provides our law enforcement up here. Now, right now I'm taking a, a shot of a picture, an aerial shot of the uh, golf course to give you a little bit of an idea of the layout of it. Uh, this aerial shot was taken uh, again during a drought period. So you can see the course is a little green. Normally it's, uh, I'm sorry, a little brown. Normally, it's quite green. And this is the uh, entrance to the Pine Mountain Lake pool. And as you can see, it, uh, there's no lifeguard on duty, but it is uh, monitored. See that it does look down over the golf course. And I hope you can hear the happy uh, sounds in the, uh, in the background. This is the Pine Mountain Lake Tennis uh, Center, which is located in Unit 4. There are four tennis courts out here, and there's another tennis court located next to the uh, Country Club down by the uh, golf course. In just a moment, I'll take you up and show you what the courts look like from above. Well, now I'm filming the uh, tennis courts. And these are the two located on the upper level. In just a moment, I'll walk over and get a shot from above of the two on the lower level. And these are the two tennis courts on the lower level. You can see there's some uh, stands over there for uh, tournament play so people can view the play that's going on. Very nice uh, tennis courts. Now that's a view of the tennis court which is located next to the country club, the swimming pool, and the golf course. And you can see there are two smaller courts and I'm not real sure what, uh, what game they play on it. But uh, that's located at our main uh, amenities area. Well, now we're going to take a trip down into the uh, main marina, show you the snack shop, the uh, boat launching area, the boat rentals, and the uh, swim area. Well, now I'm standing uh, at the main marina and I'm going to pan across the uh, beach area and the lawn area where the picnic tables and the barbecues and the uh, playground equipment is located. It's uh, midweek, so it's not terribly crowded. It gets a little more use on the weekends. You can see the uh, swimming platform out there with the slide on it. And it gives you a real good view of the rest of uh, Pine Mountain Lake. The Duncourt Marina is right across the lake. You can see the white balls in it. And we'll take a tour of it momentarily. And as I pan on around, we'll come around to the snack shop, which is open in the summertime. Very good food, very reasonably priced. And I'll take you down and show you the boat uh, launching area and the rental equipment. Now, this will give you a little bit idea of the uh, menu that they have at the uh, snack shop, shop at the uh, marina. The expensive menu and again, the good food and reasonably priced. Now, let's back down towards the beach area. and I'm going to scan across the area where most of the uh, rental equipment is tied down for right now. There is a uh, shop here that has souvenirs and uh, fishing licenses and that sort of thing which you can uh, purchase and of course you can rent all of this uh, rental equipment. Remember that right now we're in the middle of a drought so the lake is down about uh, 10 feet or so. Uh, lake and the swimming area and the main marina area uh, there's a jetty that sticks out there with some picnic tables on it and of course the, we proudly fly the American flag from that point. Our normal boat launching ramp is right here but as you can see it's a little bit high and dry right now due to the uh, drought conditions and I'm going to pan across the docks where you can uh, if you're not a, a lakefront owner you can rent dock space to uh, park your boat and we've taken and put in a temporary launching ramp uh, until of course the drought ends and we 
come back up on our water levels and that temporary ramp is uh, right here and that is the uh, rest of the marina area and the dock area and that'll conclude this portion of the tour. Now, Pine Mountain Lake has three marinas. Duncourt Beach Marina, which we'll go through in a moment, is the uh, second busiest. The main marina, of course, being the busiest because it has the rentals on the snack shop and the, the uh, boat docks and all that. And then the uh, least busy of the three marinas is the Lake Lodge Marina, and it's generally speaking where you'll find the uh, younger children. Uh, this particular marina is where they park most of the platform boats, and now we'll take a tour of the marina itself. Well, that's the swim area down there. It does have a, a platform in it. There, however, is no slide like the main marina has. And then I'll pan back around the beach area. And as you can see, a good portion of the beach area is taken up with the uh, platform boats. And this marina, as uh, all of our marinas, does have uh, restroom facilities, which is in that little building right there. And that'll conclude the tour of the uh, Duncourt Beach Marina. Well, this is the Pine Mountain Lake lodge and beach. I'll take you down and give you just a little bit of a tour of it momentarily. And this is one of three of our swimming marinas. This is called the uh, Lake Lodge. It's generally speaking for the uh, younger children. You can see the playground equipment there. They have a little, uh, a few boat rentals here. That's the swimming area down there. And then as I pan on around, you'll be able to see the uh, Lake Lodge itself. That was the original barn on the property and it was converted to an all-purpose building and we, uh, we have a lot of community events here and you can rent it for uh, family events like weddings or anniversaries and there's a very uh, large barbecue and a good uh, kitchen connected to the building. And that will conclude the tour of the uh, Lake Lodge uh, Marina. You can take your grandkids too and you can fish off of a couple of docks that are down in the cove. There's a, a playground area for the smaller children and I'll go ahead and take you in and give you a tour of the area. Well now I'm standing at the uh, head of the pathway that takes you down to the picnic area and the two docks for fishing at Fisherman's Cove and uh, momentarily I'll take you down to the uh, picnic area and the fishing area. Well, now I'm down in the uh, picnic area where the docks are located. That's the trail I came down. I'll pan around to the right here, and you'll be able to see the lake, some of the picnic tables, the barbecues, and the two docks that you can fish off of. As I said, a great area for grandparents and their children. Uh, have a good, pleasant day together. There is a boat that operates between the three swimming marinas and this marina every hour on the hour and I think it costs a couple of dollars and you can ride back and forth. You can go over to the snack shop and uh, get a snack or visit the uh, swimming areas. There is no swimming permitted in uh, Fisherman's Cove. Well, this is the playground area at uh, Fisherman's Cove. As you can see, it's mostly for smaller children. However, there is a basketball uh, net back there and a court to bounce the ball on. And this is the beginning of one of the par courses that runs back up through the canyon there.